The Mesoamerican culture area is unique to the Americas because it is one of only three places in the world where a writing system was invented to represent grammar, the others being the Near East and China. Hello, I took this sweep at the site museum of Monte Alban, an ancient Zapotec capital in central Oaxaca, Mexico. For over a thousand years, the Zapotec wrote in glyphs, remaining an extensive and enigmatic body of texts. Recall the definition of glyph from a previous episode in the playlist. Glyphs are abstract images symbolizing concepts, sounds, or other communicated signs. For this episode of the Native American Writing Systems playlist, we will be looking at glyphic texts from two of Mesoamerica's earliest civilizations. The Zapotec, whose script I ponder here and the Olmec, whose culture dates as early as 1200 BC in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Glyphs have been of interest in the history of Mesoamerican scripts because they have been key to an ongoing discussion over the representation of language, where pictures end and symbolism begins. The hottest contention is over classifying the earliest things that look like writing, notably from the Olmec civilization. This artifact, the Awilikan tablet at the Dallas Museum of Art, has a deliberate arrangement of abstract signs that are hinting at a mythical event. Anthropologists are familiar enough with related beliefs among the Maya and other Mesoamerican civilizations to read the symbol's meanings. The stepped object in the lower half is a mountain, either an actual one or its metaphoric representation with a temple. Above it is the world tree, whose roots reach the underworld and whose branches touch the sky. Four stony objects probably represent the four cardinal directions extending from the tree at world center, or they could be grains of maize. Atop is a square with a large X, recalling the Maya glyph or sky, and framing it are 13 knobs that are likely counting the 13 levels of the heavens. This cosmic design is known from later cultures such as the Maya and Aztecs. Near the bottom is a concave shape similar to Maya and Zapotec images of jaws opening from the Earth's surface into the underworld. And at the very base are three dots, perhaps like the three hearthstones in a Maya creation myth. So, without knowing the artist's language, we can tell that the figures on this plaque depict the specific ideas combined into a mythical text. In the description, I link to Art Museum commentary on the object. Also from the Taiban region of the Olmec, the Cascajal block was discovered in the late 1990s in South Veracruz. It stands at just over a foot tall, and its front surface has 62 glyphs. A major theory on the history of the Olmec is that they spoke a language ancestral to the indigenous tongue still used in the southern Gulf of Mexico, namely members of the Mihesokian language family. Linguists such as Sorin Wikman have reconstructed a proto mihesokian language that the Olmec could have spoken around 3,000 years ago, the approximate date of the Cascajal block. Several of the 62 glyphs are repeated in this text, and many in fact have forms that appear in other art. Even the infamous Kudi glyph, which resembles an ant, has a sculpture style from the nearby site of San Lorenzo, Veracruz. Unfortunately, there are not enough other texts to compare with, so the exact meaning remains a mystery for now. Although there is no consensus on how far Olmec art could qualify as writing, its influence on the Maya script is without question. This stone axe or celt from Guerrero in southern Mexico has at least four qualities that the Maya would adopt in their use of writing. 1. The main figure is a powerful ruler of supernatural proportion, standing in profile. 2. All other details are peripheral to the figure. 3. The Maya adopted several of these symbols into glyphs. 4. The image is carved into an even stone surface. The playlist will continue on these themes in an upcoming episode on the Mayan glyphs. The so-called Ithsmian script of the Epi-Olmec culture, dating to the first centuries before and after Christ, has also been an important topic on the evolution of writing in Mesoamerica. I talk about this subject in a video on Mesoamerica's earliest calendar texts. 